Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who know me, hello. I'm so excited to see you. Whether you're folding laundry, drinking Chardonnay, having a dirty martini, I'm here for it. Tell me what you're doing, where you are. If it's snowing or sunny, I wanna know. And if you guys don't know me, my name's Kim. I'm a fashion stylist. I've been in the industry a long time. I do many things. This YouTube is one of them. Okay, let's get into the video. Actually, before we do, if you guys love this video or any of the other ones you're watching, remember, hit the red subscribe button. I am working my way to 100,000 subscribers and it really helps me. Plus, I'll show them your mailbox every Friday and we will hang out. In this video, in all my videos, I'm just like, you're here to hang out and find out like, how can you upgrade your style? So I'm here to tell you 10 things that make you look bad. This is my number one pet peeve. Actually, I feel like these are all like my top 10 pet peeves and I don't have a lot of pet peeves. I'm generally like a really positive person, but here's the thing, buying clothes for the size and not clothes that actually fit you. So this is something I see a lot. I have a few friends with like a bit of a hang up on the number. They really want to be like a size 26 or size 27 jean and they'll buy these jeans but they actually can't put them on. They muffin top over or buying a small tank top when you should be buying a medium. I've spoke of this before. When you do this, when you actually buy a size based on a size because you really want to be that size, it actually doesn't fit you well. Then it makes your clothes look really bad and if they fit you poorly in turn you just look bad you look like you don't have it put together so if you're like frumping over the side of your tank top or if it cuts too close in the summer buying a tank top with the holes too close you're gonna sweat on them you're gonna turn them yellow like it's just a bad scene so try not to think of the number I don't even want you to think about it there are so many different sizes for one pair of jeans what I mean is like each brand is cut differently so sometimes I'm like one size and another brand I can be like three different sizes up so it's kind of crazy. Don't think about the number. The second fashion mistake that you may be making without knowing or knowingly, just trying to like get away with it, is wearing clothing that is actually stained or pilled or has a snag. Like this is one of the worst things you can do. You don't have to have a lot of money to look great, to look classy, to look fashionable. You just need to be well kept. Well kept, I think is more the word. It could be a t-shirt at Target. It could be one that you bought at the secondhand store. But if you walk around with a great fitting t-shirt that isn't stained or anything like that, you look fantastic. I'll give you a little story. I was with my daughter having brunch two days ago and these two girls walk in, they look really cute. And I kind of look over and I was like, oh, that's a great outfit. She had white lace shorts on, espadrilles, and this cute like baby blue like puff sleeve top tucked in. I was like, oh yeah, that's a great look. And like I take a sip of my drink and I look over and I'm like, oh, the espadrilles have like a coffee stain on them. They're like a cream color. I was like, oh, that's too bad. You know, and then I looked over again as she raised her glass and there was actually like some sort of stain underneath the boob. It looked like a mustard stain. And then I was like, my goodness, like what's happening here? And then I'm like, as I try to tear my eyes away and like go to look at my own food and talk to my daughter, and then I can't because I'm like riveted again. And she's actually got like a long string hanging off of her beautiful lace shorts. I was like, wow. Like she just took a really cute outfit that just like turned into a complete fashion disaster. So before you go out the door, do a little quick spot check. Check your shirt, does it have stains? Does it have armpit stains? Does it have a hole? Does it have a bunch of fuzz and you're wearing a sweater? Run to your shower, take a razor, shave those off. That takes you two seconds. And again, it's not about money. It's just about taking care of the possessions that you have and not walking out the door looking like a total slob. The third fashion mistake that makes you look bad, and I kind of touched on this a little, is beat up shoes. This is actually one of my pet peeves. And to be honest, I've had this pet peeve for like my whole life. I actually went to a private girls school and we had to wear loafers. So I did wear loafers for a while, but then it got cool to wear dogs, so I had dogs. But one of the things that always really bugged me is that I just didn't like it when my toes and my shoes were scuffed. I felt like it like threw everything off and I felt like I wasn't put together. Like that is something I've done since I've been, I think in grade three. So I just would grab, like I had these little black, you know, the, you know, the shoe polishers, you can squeeze it and it like polishes the shoe. Like that takes two seconds. It's the same thing with your white runners. If you're gonna walk out the door and they're like stained and dingy and you have a really cute outfit and then you look down and your shoes are like yellow with stains, like come on. 
that's gonna make you look bad. You're gonna look totally gross, not put together. Like take two seconds to take care of yourself. Even if you're a mom and you're busy with kids, chuck your shoes in the washing machine if they're canvas the night before with some towels or whatever. I've done that too. It's just about taking care of yourself. It is a fashion mistake. And one more thing on this, if you have luxury items, take care of them. I have taken in some really nice sandals. I take them to the shoemaker. I haven't put a new sole on because sometimes leather soles wear down. They look chipped. It's just like, it's bad. The next fashion mistake I think that we can all make as women and men is not spending enough money on quality items. Let's say you have a certain budget to spend on a purse but maybe you don't want to spend that all at once. So you go, go buy a bunch of like cheap purses, but now you've spent the same amount and you have all these cheap purses. Well, inevitably, when you tend to buy clothing that's made poorly, it starts to fall apart. And as it starts to fall apart, it actually does really make you look bad. So if you have like strings hanging off of your purse, or maybe it's a pair of shoes and the soles coming off, you bought five of them, but they were all really cheap. My advice to you is like, save your money buy one purse. To be totally honest, this is what I did. This is a long time ago. It's like 15 years ago. I really wanted a Chanel purse, maybe longer, dating myself, but I really wanted one. I saved up and I bought that one wallet on a chain. And you know what? I still have it. So one classy item with a any t-shirt, any pair of jeans, you're always gonna look fantastic. So don't be cheap when you're buying something that you're gonna keep in your wardrobe for a really long time. Shoes and purses, you can keep forever. My mother has handed me down shoes and purses. So try to spend as much money as you can in your budget and really buy something classy that is gonna last you a long time and then take care of it. The fifth fashion mistake that we can all make that makes you look bad, and this is like, people don't notice this, and I've had clients and friends come to me and they'll be like, do you like these jeans or these ones? It's the stitching on jeans. So currently, as I'm filming this video, stitching on jeans is trending to be non-existent, to be very classy, to be subtle. Back in the day when we had big white thick stitching and rhinestones, what was that true religion? Different colored stitching on jeans, like white, yellow, pink. I feel like that is a fashion mistake that can really make you look bad. Now listen, if you love to be bedazzled, I, I do know some people like this, they love to wear pink and boas and high heeled shoes and have all the fluff. That's awesome, that's your style, I am here for it. If that's not your style and you really wanna look classy, I'm just gonna tell you right now, something that can make you look bad is big chunky, different colored stitching on your jeans. It's currently not a thing. I feel like it never should have been a thing, but anyway, just saying, big chunky stitching, rhinestones can make you look bad. The sixth fashion mistake that I find can make you really look bad. This is something that I want you guys to look out for. Listen, I'm not saying that it doesn't work for some people. Some people love this style, but it's those t-shirts with like the twist in the front. I don't know, I feel like it adds weight to anyone's stomach, even if you are super tiny. If you are an apple body shape, it is really not for you. I do think you can have a twist or you can do it yourself, tighten a knot on the side. That's totally fine. But you know what I'm talking about those ones that have those cheap twists that, and it actually hangs quite low. I have seen them myself and I've been like, oh, maybe I'm gonna try that on. Like it looks like it could have some style, like a white cute t-shirt with a twist with a plain pair of jeans. No, I feel like it makes you look cheap. I feel like it makes you look bad. That's my personal opinion. But anyway, if you guys love it, let me know down below. But in general, stay away from the t-shirt twist. The seventh fashion mistake that I think can really make you look bad is if you go and buy a cheap pair of jeans, skirt, tank top, t-shirt, anything that has a pattern with like florals or stripes and they actually don't match up. That's like a telltale way that the piece of clothing that you're wearing is very cheap. Because if it's a quality product, they will take the time to line up the seams, to line up the stripes, the polka dots, whatever it is. So that really makes you look bad. So if you are wearing an item where the stripes don't match, they're like totally misaligned, stay away from that. Make sure when you're shopping for an item like that, take a look. Look at the seams and see what's happening before you buy it. Makes you look bad. Number eight on my list for things that I feel like is a fashion mistake and can really make you look bad is cold shoulder shirts. I have like the funniest video. I've never been a fan of them, but when they were in trend, you guys have to find this video, let me know down below if you find it. But uh, when they were in trend, I found this sweatshirt. I was kind of, I was heading to New York a lot. I was styling, there was a sweatshirt with like, 
was like cartoons all over the front or something and it was a cold shoulder sweatshirt I threw it on I was like this is kind of cute <laughs> not cute I literally cringe when I scroll past that video on my own feed I'm like oh no anyway I just feel like cold shoulder trends like the thing is it was a trend and it just really really dates you if you don't care and you don't care about trends and you're like digging the cold shoulder I say go for it but if you're watching this and you're like wanting to really like clean up your style and like look great look classy just telling you it screams dated look bad if you have gorgeous shoulders I love you wear it I think it'll be great number nine on my list of fashion mistakes that make you look bad is chipped nails this is like if you are friends with me or you've been watching my channel for a long time there's a few things that you know I really dislike okay you guys have to guess one of the other ones I talk about it all the time all of you regulars I know that you know what it is because I talk about it profusely not to wear these shoes so you guys can let me know down below we'll see how many of you know but chipped nails I like I have a girlfriend actually she's really cute she's a mom she has a young kid and she's always hustling around but every time I look down at her nails like they're just they could be blue they could be pink but they're just like they're chipped and I feel like it just screams I don't have my crap together you know why don't wear nail polish like if you're in that stage of your life where you it's just like not a priority for you like beautiful buffed plain nails look absolutely fantastic I love that look I think it's really classy it's really cute if that's your stage of life and you're super busy throw a couple swipes of clear nail polish it look so classy but if you can't maintain it just don't do it don't walk out the door if you're going to an interview if you're going to meet a friend if you're going on a first date heavens please make sure you check your nails before you go out it's something that's very easy and costs you nothing to take care of your nails like literally a couple dollars or nothing just buy like one of those buffers that's amazing actually from the drugstore and you can use that soft side and buff them make some shiny looks so good you'll never look bad the tenth item on my list of ten of fashion mistakes that make you look bad I feel like I should have ended with some grandiose thing but it's I don't really have one I feel like all of these are kind of the same but something that I really think like makes you look cheap and makes you look bad and again being classy and having a sense of fashion has nothing to do with money style and being able to afford nice things are totally separate. I've seen people that have lots and lots of finances available to them and they look like train wrecks. And I've seen people who literally have nothing and they look so polished and walk out the door. So they're totally separate. Hardware on a bag. So if you can't afford, if you're saving up to buy your one really nice bag that you really like, save up to do that. If you wanna buy one or a few that you can use for different outfits while you're waiting, a telltale sign of a cheap bag and something that I just really don't like is like, big hardware. I feel like it's just like screams like bought at a mass factory. I don't know, like a big silver, like buckles and like big round circles. And it's the same thing on clothes, like big grommets and like big silver buttons. I'm just like, Ugh. it's just, it's, I don't know. Let's try to buy a purse that really has no hardware. It'll look so classy. You'll never be able to tell how much it costs when you got it. It's just a very easy item that can go for years without screaming what date you bought it there's a certain trend like there was a certain era that was like 10 years ago where it was just like crazy cheap hardware on everything bad okay that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you i am so excited to hang out with you i'm sorry for a delay in between a few videos i've been a bit busy anyway um i love you guys and i will see you on the next video